Warning, it's important that before performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any Heil product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompany this vehicle. It's up to you to ensure safe operations and processes. You cannot outsource safety. If there is anything that's unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. This video is provided for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a comprehensive guide in any fashion. This video is not a substitute for proper training, qualification, and experience. Heil makes no warranty, guarantee, or promise by virtue of this video or the information herein. Please see applicable Heil product warranty statements. Please consult your workplace safety policies and relevant operator and service manuals. This video is intended to inform experienced technicians of generalized conditions that may occur on some units and to provide information that could assist in proper servicing of a unit. It is solely up to the technician to ensure the safety of the workplace and work process. Always watch the video in its entirety before beginning any service operation. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Heil Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to do some basic troubleshooting on the Heil Revamp electric automated side loader. With new technology comes some uncertainty, so we want to cover a few scenarios where the operator can be confident enough to follow a few simple steps to resolve potential issues while on route. Before attempting to operate the revamp, we highly recommend that you watch our Service Shack episode on how to do this properly. Always ensure you're wearing the required PPE for the task at hand. First, if the body or lift functions are not working when you start the truck, ensure the charging cable is unplugged. Next like with any other Heil engineered unit, if the arm or auger is not functioning, ensure that the e-stop is pulled up. The operations of the unit are very quiet, so ensure that the surrounding area is clear of anyone who could enter the operation zone before testing the functionality of the lift arm or body. If the lift arm is still not functioning, press the red collection mode button on the joystick. When collection mode is turned on, the joystick can be used to navigate the lift arm. There is an amber light on the curb side of the body near the lift that blinks when the unit is in collection mode and the lift arm is operational. If the auger still doesn't start, either manually or with dump movement of the lift arm, it could be because the ejector panel is not in the fully retracted position. Press the retract button to manually do so until there is no movement or motor working. A green circle light will be shown in the button when the panel has fully retracted. If the circle is white, it is not fully retracted and you will need to hold the retract button until it turns green. Afterward, you should be able to use the auger normally. If the light in the auger retract button remains white and will not turn green, it could indicate that there is something behind the ejector panel and that you need to clean out the sump area. Using the sump doors on the front corners of each side of the body, Use the cleaning tool to clean the sump areas. Return the cleaning tool when finished, then close and latch both sump doors. If the up or down function on the lift arm doesn't allow it to fully raise or lower, ensure the arm is close enough to the body. In this situation, you should see a message on the display screen saying, arm too far out. If the grabber of the lift arm doesn't fully close around the container, Try to open the grabbers completely at maximum width first. This should reset the position sensor and allow you to complete the collection of the container. There is a special tool that comes with the unit in the event the grabber becomes locked in place. The wrench will fit onto the grabber gearbox shaft and a slight turning motion will free up any binding. If the tailgate will not raise when trying to eject the payload, make sure that the unit is not in collection mode by pressing the red button on the joystick. Then ensure the chassis is in neutral, the parking brake is set and holding, and the e-stop button is pulled up. 
Lastly, if your unit's still not operating correctly and these troubleshooting steps didn't correct the issue, then you may need to reboot the system. Park the unit safely, put the chassis in neutral, apply the parking brake and ensure it is set and holding. Then turn the truck ignition key to the off position and wait for the system to shut down completely. Once the system is offline, turn the ignition key back to the on position and try to enable the body functions again. That does it. Now you know how to complete basic troubleshooting on the Heil Revamp EASL. I hope this video has helped you gain an understanding of these steps, but if you still have questions, contact Heil Tech Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can, so be safe out there and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.